Hey everybody, I'm Ebony. This is Ebony's Creativity. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. Here is the piece that we are going to be working on together today. And this piece is extra special because it is a roadside find. You guys, I have been finding so many good pieces of furniture in my neighborhood. Like, oh my God. So anyway, um, I found this little side table. Um, could be used for a nightstand, could be used for an end table, like in the living room. And I just had to throw it in the truck and bring it on home. Um, not too much is wrong with it. You see the drawer is clean and it can provide somebody with a little bit of storage. Um, I'm also thinking that it maybe can be used like as an entryway bench because it's wide enough for a butt to fit on it. So yeah, I really like this piece and I like the fact that, you know, can have many different uses. And I am going to go ahead and get started. The first step I'm going to do is to wipe this off with some glass cleaner. I used to use more harsh um, cleaning solutions, but sometimes they will affect the paint. And I do not run that risk anymore because I just stick with glass cleaner. It gets the stuff pretty clean and I don't have to worry about it affecting the paint. Um, so you can see me wiping this down. It is very, very, very dirty. So. But it's, it's cleaning up really nicely, so I'm happy about that. Next, I'm going to take a Dollar Tree uh, sanding block. And there's just a few little areas that needed a little attention. Um, the Both legs on the front were a little bit scratched up, so I decided to sand those. And I'll also be sanding the drawer front because it has a lot of discoloration and just some areas that did not come clean with the glass cleaner. So... I'm just going to remove the hardware and go ahead and scrub that down and it cleaned up really nicely afterward. Alright so I'm going in with my favorite primer, this Ben primer, just on the top because it has a different texture than the rest of the piece. Um, it, it's, it's a veneer, it's not hardwood so I'm just going to cover it up just in case it takes the paint differently from the rest of the piece and I'm just going to go ahead and do two um, nice coats of that. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I love this Waverly chalk paint. Really cheap and accessible. Um, so I like to use that in my flips. And I have this Dollar Tree painting materials here. And I'm just going to go over the rest of this piece with this chalk paint. And one coat was plenty to make it opaque and make it look really nice. So that's all I did. Just one good coat. And as I normally do, I started out painting this right side up. And then I turned it over and also painted it upside down just because that gives you a different vantage point and you can see different areas that you may have missed the first time. Next I grabbed my favorite gold spray paint and, and a sandwich bag. And I am going to go to each leg. I use a sandwich bag instead of tape, um, basically to tape off the area that I don't want any paint to get on. And I just went around to each leg and kind of designated a little gold foot area at the end just to add some pizzazz. Also, the hardware is going to be gold, and so I figured this would be a nice touch. So this is what it looks like with the finished gold feet, a coat of the black uh, Waverly paint, and two coats of primer on the top. My plan was to paint the top black as well, but when I saw this put together, I was like, hmm, it really looks kind of cute with the white top. So I just decided to go ahead and stick with that. So right now we're waiting on this to dry. Next we'll be painting the top. Now this is something new. If you're a regular watcher of my channel, you know I swear by Waverly Paint. But since the pandemic, it's gotten really hard to find. So I've invested in this very expensive uh, Wise Owl Paint. And also, I swear by Dollar Tree Paint Rollers. But I have also invested in this Klingon brush. And I have to say, I really love this paint and this brush. I am not switching over completely. But I have definitely added this paint and this brush into my arsenal 
I like to do my flips where anybody can do it, where it's affordable and the products are accessible. And this kind of stuff is only sold like in specialty boutiques and online and I just really like to show things that are widely accessible. But like I said, I couldn't find the Waverly White so I decided that I was going to splurge on these products and I really like them. The paint is more expensive and a little thinner than the Waverly paint but it still gives you a pretty good result and it has a one hour drying time which I really, really love. But my absolute favorite thing about this paint is that you don't have to put a top coat on it because the top coat is built in. So this is just a time saver, not necessarily a money saver, but I think it's okay to add new options and new products into your arsenal. So here's the new things that I used and I'm doing one, two coats of this on this particular piece. Next, I'll be drilling the holes for the new hardware. If you follow Ebony's Creativity on Facebook or Instagram, if you don't, come on and join me over there because I do post some things over there that I don't get a chance to post over here. But anyway, if you follow me, you will remember a post where I posted that I found a treasure chest full of drawer knobs and pulls. So I'm using one of those in this project. And now all that is left is for me to add the top coat. I do use the polycrylic water-based top coat on my projects. Um, everything is looking great and before I show it to you I just wanted to pop in and request that you subscribe to my channel I do chit chat videos thrifting videos um, home decor related videos and DIY videos also these furniture flips so please subscribe to my channel if you have not already and here is the final finished product thank you guys so much for watching and please come back to my channel don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys If you have the time, please select another video to watch from the choices on your screen. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.